Hey guys, it's Chris Swepe back in the shop. Today I just wanted to show you some of the modifications I made to my plasma table here. This is the Langmar Systems Crossfire XR table. Um, I've been cutting with it quite a bit and a lot of guys have been helping me out trying to improve my cut quality. I ordered a lot of stuff to improve the cut quality. So I want to show you today what I did and what I'm going to do and the things that I've ordered to improve my cut quality. Um, so after installing this table, the first thing that I knew I had to change was the monitor mount. It comes with this rigid monitor mount that mounts here on the corner. And as you can see, I have other machinery. Everything's real tight in here. So I knew I was going to have to move that. Uh, so I got this fully articulating bracket off Amazon. I'll put a link in the comments if you guys like that. But I use that and I really like that. I manufactured this bracket, cut these pieces with the actual plasma table here. It's made out of quarter inch and just basically made an extension out so I can move this around, up and down. Um, still works great. Only thing is I had to move the controller onto the ground. Uh, the cables are a little bit short. Um, I'm also going to manufacture a bracket that gets that off the ground. I don't like anything off the ground. So that's one of my next things I'm building. Um, also, uh, I made a bracket over here to get the plasma cutter off the ground. Uh, also, fab that up with this plasma cutter and then just put it in the sheet metal breaker and bent it, mounted it up, works real good. So there's that. And then there's some other things I ordered down here. This is the motor guard filter. Uh, trying to keep your air dry. I'm gonna install this within about a, a couple inches, maybe a foot from the actual plasma cutter itself. Um, and then we have the sterling pool. I'm gonna start utilizing that as well. Uh, I'm going to drain the table. I'm going to install four drains, larger drains, one in each pan, and then it's actually going to get pumped out uh, whenever I'm not using it quite often, and it's going to go into like a 275-gallon tote, and then I'll pressurize that tote with air, and it'll refill the table. Another thing, what you just heard there, was I installed this automatic purge drain on the air compressor. Um, some of you don't even know this, but I used to have a 60 gallon air compressor and it was running in my shop and exploded, went through two rows of pallet racking and hit the ceiling. Well, that is, it was like a bomb went off, it was insane. So got a new air compressor, I recommend that everybody anchors it to the floor. So it's anchored now, and then I have an automatic electric solenoid that purges it every I think this one goes off every 15 minutes. So that is a must have for anybody with an air compressor. You guys gotta get that, just the safety feature. Um, along the same token, uh, this here is another safety valve for your air compressor. Uh, I'm gonna install this down the line over here onto the pipe, just for an extra safety precaution. It's gonna go in line there, so if we exceed 190 PSI on the air compressor for some reason if something else failed over there and it just kept running and running This would blow off and it wouldn't cause the tank to explode um, <clears throat> Also purchased some more consumables on the internet uh, This is for the razor weld razor cut 45 plasma cutter. I'll put a link for that. I'll put a link for all this stuff in the comments um, and then we also got a Harbor Freight refrigerated dryer. I haven't even opened this thing up. Let's open this up. They don't keep these in stock in the stores, so you have to go online and order these. Um, there's kind of mixed reviews on them, but I wanted something really quick, and this was the only one that I could get that was readily available that could get to me in a couple days. So 
I don't know what you guys think about this. Let me know what you think. Um, kind of mixed reviews on this thing, but I think I'm going to actually install it and put it underneath the table. Uh, I think you have to have it between like 30 and 50 feet away from the air compressor so you don't have that high change in temperature. Uh, so, I'm going to install that over here, keep it on the table if I can, possibly, and hopefully that helps my air situation. So, there will be an air compressor to this, and then after this, we're going to do the motor guard filter and then to the plasma cutter itself. The last thing that I have, um, I have that razor weld cut 45, and I bought this manual torch for it, which is great because you can just turn your CNC plasma cutter into a manual cutter. It's a multi-use tool. I got this from Plasmadyne. Uh, so here's the information for Plasmadyne. It's a local Missouri company, uh, right out of Pacific, Missouri. They have great products. I uh, really like this torch. Uh, it's been doing good for me. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it, but I'm really happy. Uh, used it quite a bit so far. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos on YouTube. And that's it for today. Thanks, guys.